हेलो गाइस आई एम अंकित एंड इस वीडियो शो से आता प्रॉब्लम ऑन रीड कोड लॉन्गेस्ट हार्मोनियस सीक्वेंस सब सीक्वेंस सो वी डिफाइन अ हार्मोनियस अरे एस एन अरे वेयर डिफरेंस बिटवीन इट्स मैक्सिमम वैल्यू एंड इट्स मिनिमम वैल्यू विल बी एक्जैक्टली वन सो गिवन एन इंटीचर अरे रिटर्न द लेंथ ऑफ इट्स लॉन्गेस्ट हार्मोनियस सब सीक्वेंस एमंग ऑल पॉसिबल सब सीक्वेंसेस अ सब सीक्वेंस ऑफ एन अरे इज अ सीक्वेंस दैट कैन बी डिराइव्ड फ्रॉम द अरे बाय डिलीटिंग सम और नो एलिमेंट्स विदाउट चेंजिंग द ऑर्डर ऑफ द रिमेनिंग एलिमेंट्स so what do you mean by subsequence first is as i have said here if they given an array let's say 1 3 2 2 something okay 1 2 3 4 let's take the array 1 2 3 4 so if we take the array the subsequence which can be formed from this array could be 1 3 1 comma 4 or the entire array 1 comma 2 can 3 comma 1 be a subsequence no why no 3 and 1 are the elements of the array original array But if you see the order, first is three, then is one. But here you could see first is one, then is three. So the relative ordering of the elements is not the same. That is what subsequence means. Either you can get some of the no elements from the array, but the ordering of the elements, whatever you get, it must be same. So here one three, one four, one two. After one two, after one three, after one four. So in this, the relative order is being preserved but if you see 3 comma 1 no this cannot be a subsequence that is what so here we need to derive the largest harmonious subsequence harmonious in the sense if you get any array let's say 1 comma 3 the maximum difference uh, sorry the difference between the maximum and minimum element of that array should be exactly one they said is it one here 3 minus 1 will be 2 no this cannot be harmonious subsequence this is a subsequence but no not harmonious subsequence if you take 1 comma 2 then yeah it is a subsequence is it harmonious 2 minus 1 is 1 yes exactly one difference between the maximum and minimum element is 1 yes this is a harmonious subsequence so harmonious subsequence is a subsequence in which uh, the difference between the largest and smallest element in that subsequence will be exactly one not even less than or equal to one anything so it should be exactly one it should be equal to one so now let's take this array So we have taken this array one three two two five two three seven. So if you see in this example, the longest harmonic subsequence could be three two 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 then two three of length five. So this is the longest harmonic subsequence. We need to return the length of that longest harmonic subsequence. So how do you get this? So if we actually observe in the array, okay, let's say we have one. So for one. Uh, to form a sub subsequent, let's look at the next greater element. Is two is present in array? Yes, append two. Again, next two we have append that. Next two another two we have. Yes, this is one subsequent form. Then three seven you can't. Then if you move to three, so for three you have to look for four. Is plus four present? No, no. This is a single subsequent. So currently this is the longest one. So next move to two. So if you move to two, start from here. So three you have the next greater element, and how many two are present? One, two, three. All it is three, three two are present. So this two, this two, and this two. This one three, next one three. So this is what we have here, right? Yeah, the ordering is what I have written is wrong here. So it should be three comma two comma two comma two comma three. Yes, this is the longest subsequence because its length is five, this length is four. So this is which is maximum. This is so after two is done five. So if you take five, is there any five? No. Is there any six? No. So single. Then you move to seven. For seven also there is no other seven. There is no other eight also. This that will be a single subsequence. How many subsequence? Uh, I mean that cannot be a subsequence actually. Any other element you won't have because the difference between maximum element element in this uh, subsequence will be zero, which cannot be possible. So one, two, three subsequence which we got how many subsequence in which the largest one is of length five. This is what we need to return. But what is approach to solve the problem? This is a normal proof of approach. Like you iterate over the array, we go of n square times. Because each element you take again start from the array and you look for the element either this element or one greater than that. So normal group for suppose, but without doing that, how can we solve the problem? So for that, what we will use is we will use hash table here. Okay. So for using hash table, so the hash map what you say in Java or C plus plus. Okay, map unordered map or ordered map we could use. So key comma value what we have here. 
So here the key will be the element of the array and value will be the number of times occurring in the array. Okay, so if you take one, how many times? Only once. Next three, how many times? Two times. Next two, how many times? Three times. So two is appearing three times. Then five comma seven, both are appearing only once. So this is the hash map we have map. So with this mapping, how, how do you solve the problem? So what we do is now iterate over this map, start here. For each key in the map, for each key in the map, look for one. Look whether two is present. A key, a key greater than this key is present or not. Yes, it is present. We'll see for one. Is two is present? Yes, we have two. So add the count of these two, three plus one. How much will be four? So we'll have a variable called length, another variable called max length. So max length will be so as you know, max length will be nothing but max of length comma max length. So length is four now. How do you get four? So you iterate over each key value pair in the hash map. You check whether the key now our pointer is pointing to one here. So when the pointer is pointing here, for this one, you check whether the next key higher than this is will be two. Is two is present in map. If it is present, then add the count of this also. We have to add the count of this also. Okay, if it is present, both counts should be added. So three plus one will be four. So max length is initialized to zero. So zero comma four max will be four itself. So max length is four currently. Okay, next move the pointer here, three. Now we have the key three. Look for whether we have a key that is equal to four. No, you don't have. So we'll not compute any uh, length here. Because you know, in this case, you if you form a subsequence, how many subsequence that will contain three, how many times two, two times. And you're not having any extra element. So difference between these two will be zero, which cannot be how many subsequence. Maximum element, element since it is same. Difference will be zero, but we need exactly one. So then only it can be harmonious subsequence. So you don't count the length here. Next, you move to next element, two. Check whether the key greater than this is present. That is one greater than this, that is three. Yes, it is. So add the count, three plus two, how much it will be? Five. So length is five now. So maximum of five comma four will be what? It will be five. So max length will be implemented to five, as we got here, this is the. And what they told here is we need not to return the harmony subsequent. We just need to return the maximum length of the harmony subsequent. That's why we are just finding in this way. If you need to return, then we have to use the other approach which I explained earlier to close one. So next move to this five. Check whether uh, this key greater than this will be six is present in hash map. No, it is not. So this cannot be formed in the harmony subsequent. Next move to this element seven. Check whether eight is present in hash map. No, it is also not. So that will not be having any harmonious subsequence. So you have finally, finally we have got the harmony subsequence max of maximum length five. This is what we will be returning. So we shall implement the logic. So basically first we create a hash map, store all the values and the number of times it's appearing, the frequency of each value in the array. So once you store that, iterate over each key in the uh, hash map and check whether the key greater than that one, greater than that is present in hash map. If it is present, then find the length and compute the max length. So that is the approach to solve the problem. So first what we will do is we will have a variable max length initialize to zero and length okay length can be inside only so this is fine now we need to create a hash map so let's say unordered map of type in comma in so it's nothing but frequency map okay so now for each element in the array so frequency map of the given number Plus plus, so value will be incremented as such. So once this is done, so now till here, what what we have done, we have created hash map and key value pairs are done. So next, what we need to do, we have to iterate over the hash map itself. So for that, what we need to do, so for auto it in frequency map, okay, let's say int number equal to it dot first. Since it's a pair, key value pair, it dot first and in count to equal to it dot second. 
all this should be error mark here so yeah i did a first one i did a second now you have to check whether this number plus one is present in the frequency map so if frequency map dot find of num plus one how do you get to know whether that is present in frequency map if it is not pointing to the end the pointer is pointing to end that means that particular number is not present in the frequency map key is not present if it is not pointing to end then that particular key is present in the frequency map if it is present then find the length so length will be equal to count y count that is count of that particular key number and we have to take the count of num plus one also so now compute max length equal to max of max length comma length so at the end just return the max length yes now we will run this and check okay it should be done since we had defined it as length so we'll define length also outside the loop here so let length be equal to zero yeah and we use the arrow mark here it dot first uh, arrow mark uh, with that we will be doing if we give auto dot it from it equal to frequency map dot begin to it not equal to frequency map dot end and the it plus plus if we do in that way then we have to use that otherwise we will be using not operate so we will see the java logic also so first you create a hash map integer comma integer max length integer is to zero then each element in hash map if it is present then whatever default you have get that okay not whatever uh, value you have get that plus one you increment if not defaultly initialize it to zero and increment the value by one so then each number in the key set of the frequency map so count you get the count and if you find that particular key of num plus one in the frequency map then you find the length that will be count plus the frequency map will get the uh, value of the num plus one and then you find the max length will be equal to max of max length comma length so we shall submit this also yes successfully submitted if you understood the concept please please do like the video and subscribe to the channel we'll come up with another video in the next session until then keep learning thank you